Hey guys, back again. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, I got the uh, sluice set up a little bit better. Kind of blew out the water, changed, and uh, had to reset. Knocked a couple rocks off when I tripped, but uh, watch that material. Just fades away, and it's just dancing around in those cells. Quite a bit of uh, water flow here. I hope that's a nugget. <laughs> and oh. But I just want to show you guys some of this material. I'm going to start cooking through quite a bit of it. Gotta go get some more. I'm gonna do a couple more and then I'm gonna clean out that bucket I got sitting over there. I got some sitting over, a little bit of a pan sitting over there from a couple of the tests I did. Seems like I found pretty good gold. We'll know uh, what happens when I go to clean this out. View down the creek here, down that way. I'm gonna take a little walk here. guys, it's Ray. I'll show you my setup over here. I got the sluice sitting over there. Oh, this stuff's pretty rocky. This stuff, there's uh, just tons of, tons and tons and tons of quartz. Look at that stuff. There's a lot of pyrite in this area too. That's pretty cool. Well, found quite a bit of gold today. Not sure exactly how much, but wanted to show you guys how orange this water is. <laughs> Last time I was up over there, set up, uh, it all washed out. It's been pretty high around here. So it's washed up through here, I checked up there check the other side the only place there seems to be gold out here this time is in this massive hole that I dug over here well at least a pretty big hole I dug all this area out here I had to build the dam today took quite a bit and you got a whole bunch of quartz just tons and tons of quartz in this stuff I got a pile sitting over there too from when I tested. You go ahead and get another bucket of material and I'm gonna run it through the sluice here and then I'm gonna probably make another section of this video as I'm walking out to show you guys what it looks like around here. Is that right there is that inside bend and right there in that hole it kind of rolls back and right there by that tree is where I found gold last time but it's getting better the further I head this way. I started going back down there where I really wanted to go, but that really isn't gonna happen today because it got over my head. Let's see if I can adjust this sucker so you guys can see what I'm doing. Just digging up material. A lot of black sand. The garnets are pretty small out here, at least from what I've found. It seems like the further I get down, the bigger the pieces are getting. Which is a good thing. There's a big old rock over here I found. I haven't quite hit bedrock or nothing yet, but I'm starting to get into that rusty quartz that I like to see. It's all orange. And some material that's almost like cement that I'm finding out here. Look at that.
there's a good one. That one's been here for a while. That's cool. I'm gonna classify this guy down. If I can find one of those pieces where it's just covered in pyrite, I'll show you guys what that looks like. Craziest thing when I saw it. Look at all that pyrite in there. Just tons. Not seeing anything worth it in there. No nuggets. Back to a couple more shovelfuls. It's hoping to pull up something cool. Well, there's some big ones. I had some stuff that was almost like cement just falling apart. A lot of sticks coming in. I think I may have got past that big rock. Nice chunk of cords. There's that, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at all that pyrite. It's just everywhere. Ports right there. See some fractures in it. A lot of iron in it. You just get it to come off on your hands. Well, I'm gonna finish up this bucket and I'll uh, run that material with you guys in just a minute. Hey guys, back again. Just clearing some of the uh, rocks out of this hole so I can keep digging. Get this last bucket in. I'm getting down into some clay now, or at least uh, chunks of clay are showing up. Oh yeah, that was a good sign last time I was here. Let's see what kind of material we pull up this time. Right on top of this clay should be the best stuff. Acts like a nice little trap. Nope, gravel still. Try and work it down there a little bit further. a nice one. Oh, wow, this current is pretty strong here. Deepest I've got out here yet. See that? I have a feeling that's where the good stuff's at. Might have to do a few more buckets more than I thought I was going to do. 
<laughs> See what the next one brings. Oh yeah. More yet. Quartz. Get the big guys out of here. Different type of quartz. Or color at least. Should we break up that clay real good? Something in there. There's rock. What I want to see is this rusty quartz right here. Right mixed in with that mud. I'll fall that layer as far as I can go. When the sun's out here, it looks like there's gold on just about everything. There's that much pyrite out here. Nice color pyrite, too. Not seeing anything there. Let's see what I got here. Ah, about three quarters of a bucket. That's what it looks like. We'll stick this in that sluice real quick and see what we can find. this out a little bit oh yeah see that piece of gold this is a nice one oh this seemed to wash out see if the sluice is still working good That I can live with. Just eats up that material. See it all spinning around in there? Just dancing everywhere. Rolls around. It's awesome. better picture of what I'm putting in here. It's actually doing a lot better than I thought it would for the crappy setup I have here. I mean, it's all bashing in here. It's not, it's not the perfect setup or anything like that, but you got to do what you got to do. Deal with what you have at the time. It was flowing real nice. Cleaning this sucker out, I could just shovel into it, but a lot of water pressure here just knocked everything down. 
Wish I could dredge up in this area. That would be great. Look at that one right there. That, my friends, is something I need to... That's got sides to it. I'm going to throw that in here and I'll check that when I get home. Never know, could be a diamond. Well, here's the mat. I like the way this thing drains. I, it's still in there loose, it's not even packed tight. Got a piece of gold right there in my screw, maybe there. We'll go ahead and clean this guy out. I gotta start getting out of here, it's getting late. I will, uh, Turn the camera back on as soon as I get ready to start panning the uh, both them buckets out and find out what we got for the day. See you guys in a few. Hey guys, Ray here. Um, got the bucket cleaned out. Everything's all picked up, ready to head out. I wanted to take what I got from the mat and uh, pan this out. Hopefully I can do it one-handed. I got it set up here so I don't spill anything. Oh, here, I'm going to let you guys see that real quick. Pretty awesome. I don't really see a lot of garnet over here, but the bugs are pretty bad. I only got the one classifier, otherwise I would have classified this a little bit better. Take some of that water out. I don't want this splashing. All your hard work's in this pan. <laughs> Look at that. The dam is already uh, just about washed away right there. Completely washed the face of that off. It's only been about, I don't know, 45 minutes since I uh, made the last clip. And just wiped that dam out. Check the moss here. Nice little indicator. I'm going to go ahead and prop this bucket up right here. I don't know if this will, actually this little guy right here will work good. Maybe. That way I could uh, pan here. See what we got. Hopefully you guys can see it. This place is just loaded with black sand. It's pretty. It's a lot of it here. Wow. Stuff is really fine here. Lose my light. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that looks great. That's just the top of the black sand. I'm thinking there's a whole bunch of finds underneath. About to find out here in a minute.
Yeah, it's dirt and float. I don't like when it starts to float. There we go. Just, there's a ton of small pieces up in that little corner right there. There's the big guy for the day. I just dip the GoPro in the water there. A couple chunky pieces. All in all, I'd say it's a great day.